Hey there, you're looking kind of cute. Please consider subscribing and check out our Patreon for more. Enjoy the video. The air was crisp and cool as night fell, the moon a slender silver sickle in the darkening sky. Owls hooted softly in the distance as a gentle breeze rustled the leaves of the ancient oak trees that surrounded the lonely mansion. It was an old, forgotten place filled with secrets and mysteries, a perfect setting for what was about to unfold. Inside the mansion, a fire roared to life in the vast hearth, casting dancing shadows on the walls of the grand hallway. The light gleamed upon polished wooden panels, illuminating age-old portraits of stern-faced ancestors who seemed to watch with silent judgment. At the far end of the hall, a solitary figure stood before an ornate full-length mirror, its frame carved with intricate swirling patterns. The figure was a young man, his features refined and delicate, with a pale, almost ethereal beauty. He wore an expression of longing as he stared at his reflection, his emerald green eyes fixed upon the mirror as if searching for something hidden within its depths. His name was Clark, and tonight his life would change forever. Show me who I truly am, he whispered, his voice trembling with anticipation. As he spoke, the mirror stirred, its surface shimmering like a silver lake disturbed by a gentle breeze. Slowly, a mist began to form, swirling and twisting until it revealed a vision. At first, Clark saw only a vague, shapeless haze, but as he continued to watch, transfixed, the image began to take form. At first, he saw a girl with his same emerald eyes and delicate features. But she was different. Her long, silky hair tumbled in cascading curls, a stark contrast to his own short, neat style. She wore a dress of the finest silk, a deep shade of white, and her curves were softened and accentuated in all the right places. But it was her expression that truly captivated him. She looked confident, happy, and free. What? What is this? Clark whispered, his heart pounding in his chest. He stepped back, his eyes never leaving the vision. Am I dreaming? The vision in the mirror spoke, her voice like a soft melody. You are seeing your true self, Clark. This is who you are meant to be. Clark's eyes widened in disbelief. I, I don't understand. This can't be real. I'm just an ordinary guy. The girl in the mirror smiled, and her expression was both gentle and knowing. You are meant for something extraordinary. Your deepest desire is to embrace your true identity, and I am here to grant that wish. But how? Clark asked, his voice laced with a mixture of hope and trepidation. The mirror has the power to reflect your soul's deepest yearning, the vision explained, and it has the power to make it a reality. Your desire is to embody the woman you see before you, and so it shall be. Clark's heart raced as the implications of her words sank in. You mean, I can become her? The vision nodded, her curls bouncing softly. You already are her, Clark. You've always been a girl trapped in a body that didn't feel like your own. Now your outer form will match the person you truly are. Clark's hands flew to his mouth as he processed this extraordinary revelation. Oh my God, this is really happening. It is, the vision assured him. But the transformation will only occur if you truly desire it. The mirror will not force this change upon you. It is your choice, Clark. Clark took a moment, his eyes never leaving the vision as he considered his response. I, I do desire it, he said, his voice steady despite the turmoil of emotions raging within him. More than anything. Then so be it, the vision said, her voice filled with a subtle, magical resonance. Embrace your true self, Jasmine. As she spoke those words, Clark felt a strange sensation wash over him. It was as if every cell in his body was awakening, alive with a new energy. He gasped as he felt his body begin to shift and change a pleasurable tingling spreading throughout his form. The vision in the mirror also changed. Her features became sharper, more defined, and her hair shortened, taking on a stylish bob that framed her face. She now mirrored the shock and wonder on Clark's face as he experienced the transformation. What's happening? 
Clark's voice came out in a higher pitch, and he brought a hand to his throat, feeling a sudden tightness there. You're becoming her, the vision said, her voice now matching the one in Clark's head. Your body is changing to reflect your true self. Embrace it, Jasmine. Jasmine, Clark repeated, testing out the name. I'm really becoming Jasmine. As the transformation continued, Clark watched in awe as his shoulders narrowed and his hips widened, his body taking on a more feminine shape. His skin softened, becoming supple and smooth, and he felt a strange, delightful sensation as breasts began to form, swelling gently beneath his shirt. Oh my God, Clark breathed, reaching up to touch his face, now softer and more delicate. He felt a thrill as he realized his height had reduced slightly, giving him a more petite frame. This is incredible. You are incredible, Jasmine, the vision said, her voice filled with encouragement. You are brave and beautiful, and your true self is finally emerging. Clark, no, Jasmine, couldn't help but smile at the sound of her new name. It felt right, like coming home after a long journey. She turned, taking in her new form, admiring the curve of her hips and the gentle swell of her bosom. How do I look? She asked, a note of wonder in her voice. The vision smiled, her expression proud and admiring. You are stunning, Jasmine. Your beauty shines from within, and now it is reflected on the outside as well. Jasmine's heart swelled with joy and gratitude. She took a moment, savoring the feeling of finally being in her true skin. Then, her practical side kicked in, and she asked, what about my voice? It still sounds like my old voice in my head. The vision's expression turned thoughtful. Your voice will adapt and change over time. For now, it will be a reminder of your journey and how far you've come. Jasmine nodded, understanding. Then her eyes widened as she felt a sudden tug at her scalp. Oh, and my hair. Sure enough, her hair, which had been short and neat, was now growing, the dark locks lengthening and curling gently around her face. The vision smiled, her emerald eyes sparkling with delight. The mirror ensures that your transformation is complete in every detail, Jasmine. Even your hair will be perfect. As the final touches of her transformation concluded, Jasmine stood before the mirror, drinking in her new appearance. She ran her hands over her curves, marveling at the sensation of her slender waist and full hips. It's like a dream, she whispered, her eyes shining with unshed tears. I can't believe I'm finally me. The vision in the mirror smiled, her expression warm and compassionate. It is real, Jasmine, and now your journey as your true self begins. Remember, you are brave and beautiful and the world is yours to conquer. Jasmine nodded, feeling a surge of determination. I will. Thank you. Who are you anyway? She paused, realizing she didn't even know the name of the magical vision who had granted her this extraordinary gift. The vision laughed, a silvery, musical sound. I am no one and everyone, Jasmine. I am the embodiment of the mirror's magic, a reflection of your soul's deepest desire. I have no name, for I am unique to each person who gazes into the mirror. Jasmine processed this information, her eyes never leaving the vision. So you're like a guardian angel of sorts? Something like that, the vision said with a mysterious smile. Now go forth and embrace your new life, Jasmine. The mirror has granted your wish and your destiny awaits. With a final, dazzling smile, the vision in the mirror began to fade, the mist swirling and obscuring her form until she was gone. Jasmine stood alone, her heart pounding with a mixture of excitement and nerves. She approached the mirror, reaching out a hand to touch the cool, smooth surface. Thank you, she whispered, her voice filled with gratitude. As her fingertips made contact, she felt a gentle pulse of energy, a subtle reminder of the magic that had transformed her. Now, she said to her reflection, straightening and squaring her shoulders, let's see what this new life has in store for me. With a determined glint in her eye, Jasmine turned away from the mirror and strode from the hall, 
ready to confront the world as her true self. Jasmine stepped out of the grand hallway and into the cool night air, her heart racing with a mixture of excitement and trepidation. The world seemed different now, filled with new possibilities and challenges. She took a deep breath, savoring the sensation of the breeze on her skin, and marveled at how even the simple act of breathing felt different in her new body. As she walked down the winding path that led away from the mansion, Jasmine couldn't help but marvel at the way her hips swayed with each step, the fabric of her dress rustling softly against her legs. It was a strange and wonderful feeling, and she found herself smiling despite her nerves. Okay, Jasmine, she said to herself, her voice still sounding unfamiliar to her own ears. You can do this. You're a woman now, and it's time to start acting like one. But as she continued down the path, Jasmine realized that she had no idea what that actually meant. Sure, she had always felt like a woman on the inside, but she had never had the opportunity to express that femininity outwardly. She had spent her whole life playing the role of a man, and now that she was free to be herself, she wasn't quite sure where to begin. As if in answer to her unspoken question, a soft light appeared in the distance, growing brighter as Jasmine approached. It was a small cottage nestled among the trees with warm light spilling from its windows. Jasmine hesitated for a moment, unsure if she should approach, but something about the cottage seemed to beckon her forward. As she drew closer, the door of the cottage opened and a figure stepped out into the night. It was a woman, tall and graceful, with long, flowing hair the color of honey. She wore a simple dress of pale blue, and her eyes sparkled with warmth and wisdom. Welcome, Jasmine, the woman said, her voice soft and melodic. I've been expecting you. Jasmine's eyes widened in surprise. You, you know my name. The woman smiled, her expression gentle and knowing. Of course, my dear, I know all about you and your journey. I'm here to guide you as you learn to embrace your femininity. Jasmine felt a wave of relief wash over her. Thank goodness, she said, her voice trembling slightly. I have no idea what I'm doing. I feel like I'm stumbling around in the dark. The woman reached out and took Jasmine's hand, her touch warm and comforting. That's why I'm here, Jasmine, to help you find your way. Come inside and we'll begin your lessons. Jasmine followed the woman into the cottage, taking in the cozy interior with wide, wondering eyes. The walls were lined with bookshelves filled with tomes of every size and color. A fire crackled merrily in the hearth, casting a warm glow over the room. My name is Ilara, the woman said, gesturing for Jasmine to take a seat in one of the plush armchairs. And I am here to teach you the ways of womanhood. Jasmine sat down, smoothing her skirt over her knees. I'm ready to learn, she said, her voice filled with determination. Alara smiled, her eyes twinkling with amusement. Excellent. Let's start with the basics, shall we? The first thing you need to know is that being a woman is about more than just appearances. It's about embracing your inner strength, your intuition, and your emotional intelligence. Jasmine nodded, leaning forward to listen more closely. I think I understand, she said slowly. It's about being true to yourself, right? Exactly, Alara said, her smile widening. And part of being true to yourself is learning to express your femininity in a way that feels authentic to you. That might mean wearing dresses and makeup, or it might mean something entirely different. The key is to listen to your own instincts and desires. Jasmine considered this for a moment, her brow furrowed in thought. But how do I know what my instincts and desires are? I've spent so long ignoring them, trying to fit into a role that wasn't right for me. Alara reached out and patted Jasmine's hand reassuringly. That's where I come in, my dear. I'm here to help you rediscover those instincts and learn to trust them again. Over the next few hours, Alara guided Jasmine through a series of lessons and exercises designed to help her tap into her feminine energy. They practiced walking and sitting with grace and poise, experimenting with different postures and movements until Jasmine felt comfortable and natural in her new body. Alara also taught Jasmine about the power of her voice, showing her how to speak with confidence and clarity. 
your voice is one of your greatest tools, she explained. It's how you express yourself and connect with others. Don't be afraid to use it. As the night wore on, Jasmine found herself growing more and more comfortable in her new identity. She laughed and chatted with Alara, sharing stories and insights and reveling in the sense of sisterhood and connection that she had never experienced before. Finally, as the first rays of dawn began to peek through the cottage windows, Alara stood and stretched. I think that's enough for one night, she said with a smile. You've made incredible progress, Jasmine. I'm so proud of you. Jasmine stood as well, feeling a sense of pride and accomplishment wash over her. Thank you, Alara, she said, her voice filled with gratitude. I couldn't have done this without you. Alara waved a hand dismissively. Nonsense, my dear. You have everything you need within you. I simply helped you to see it. As Jasmine prepared to leave the cottage, Alara pressed a small, leather-bound book into her hands. This is for you, she said, her eyes shining with warmth. It's a journal to help you record your thoughts and feelings as you continue on your journey. Writing can be a powerful tool for self-discovery and growth. Jasmine took the journal, running her fingers over the soft, supple leather. Thank you, she said, her voice thick with emotion. For everything. Alara pulled Jasmine into a warm embrace, holding her close. You're welcome, my dear. And remember, I'm always here if you need me. You're not alone on this journey. With a final grateful smile, Jasmine stepped out of the cottage and into the bright morning light. She felt different somehow, as if the world had shifted ever so slightly on its axis. She was still the same person, but now she was free to be herself, to embrace her femininity and all the joys and challenges that came with it. As she walked down the path, Jasmine's mind was already racing with ideas and plans for the future. She wanted to explore her new identity further, to learn more about what it meant to be a woman in this world. She knew it wouldn't be easy, but she also knew that she had the strength and courage to face whatever lay ahead. For now, though, Jasmine was content to simply enjoy the moment, to revel in the feeling of the sun on her face and the breeze in her hair. She had taken the first step on a new and exciting journey, and she couldn't wait to see where it would lead her. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out Patreon for a lot more content and early access to YouTube videos.